Hi guys, or welcome into your weekly tarot reading with me, Deborah. Thank you for clicking onto the video. As usual, guys, nice to have you here. Um, this week, we are going to be looking into your relationship and seeing, or even whatever this may be, situationship, whatever it is, see what Spirit Guides wants to show us. I'm also doing a very open reading this week as well, so I'm going to allow Spirit Guides to even show us something else as well. If they want to talk about maybe finances or career with you as well, and something of importance, they will, I will allow them to bring that up as well, and we can look into that. Besides, relationship only um what else um extended reading this is going to be a very interesting one guys what i'm going to be doing in the extended reading is i'm going to be looking at choices so i'm going to be looking at the decisions that we make and um if get a spirit guide advice out and see if we had to make a, a decision about whatever situation we are in what would be the outcome either a or b and see what choices you have and what would be the best um course of action moving forward that will be an extended talking about the extended reading guys as you know if you've been here before, I've got an ongoing competition running out for the entire uh, um, month of February, starting literally from now. Next week's extended reading can be yours, free zodiac sign. So if you guys hit the thumbs up button, even co uh, comment below, subscribe if you so wish to do so. And I'm going to be counting up all those things. And the guys, you guys who get the like the most thumbs up, the most comments, I'm going to add them up, is going to win that extended next week free. So you'll watch the video next week, and then I'll put the link up. And you can go watch the extended and really go deep into the readings with me in the extended. So there we go, guys. Let's get into your reading. Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome into your weekly tarot reading with me, Deborah. Thank you for clicking onto the video as usual. If you have been here before, how are you guys doing? If it's your first time, hi, how are you? My name is Deborah. Like I said, we are going to be doing a reading this week. We're going to allow your spirit guides to come in and guide this reading and show us what we need to be seeing, what is the most important message that you guys need to get this week. Um, before I forget, extended reading, I'm going to allow spirit guides maybe to show us two different directions that you could be taking. If if it comes up so in the reading, if you have a choice to make, we're going to be seeing um, which choice or which direction you're taking and what outcome will be in both different directions, both choices. If that is so, otherwise we're going to allow them to just go deeper in the reading and advise you forward. If you want to check that out, if this reading resonates, there's a link in the description box below. Otherwise, guys, let's get started. Remember, we've got a little competition running if you, between the zodiac signs. So if you want to get your extended reading following week, next week's extended reading free at the end of your reading so you can just go there like with a link for nothing you know what i'm saying um you just hit the, the thumbs up button even comment below and i'm going to add up all those things you can even subscribe as well i'm going to add up all of those things and i'll make an announcement just before the videos get released as to who won the week's extended so there we go guys let's get into this reading this week how are you guys doing cancer let's see what energy comes up for you well if this is the first oracle card that comes up and it says overcoming obstacles, you can overcome anything. How are you? Um, it shows me that you've got some obstacles that you are overcoming. You've got some issues in your life that you're trying to, to solve. Let's see what else comes up here. And I love that. Yes. Yes. If you're overcoming something right now, you may have some obstacles that you're facing, some situations that are a little bit difficult right now. Um, they're literally saying you, you can overcome any obstacle. You can do this. And the next card that comes out, as it's like your spirit guides are literally just having a conversation with you. Because the way that it comes up, the next card that comes out is literally stepping into power. You are strong beyond measure. So whatever this may be, because I'm also allowing the reading to be a little bit open. I mean, if they want to discuss something that is outside of relationship as well, they are so willing to bring it in as well. And um, whatever you may be facing right now, um, I feel like there's something really difficult that you're trying to overcome. And if you're feeling like, am I going to be able to manage to do this? Oh, yes, you are. And there is, it's like I'm seeing an unfolding of a journey here. And this is Voyage of the Heart. Love flows through you and to you. That tells me that there is a happy ending at the end of this journey. Oh, Cancer, that is so beautiful. I'm just like, wow, let's get in here. Let's go see what is going on here with regards to each one of these basic like statements. Let's have a look and see what is going on here for you, Cancer. I'm um, overcoming obstacles. You can overcome anything. And yes, 
we can we can and you know something if we don't overcome something and something is a blockage for us it's sometimes not meant for us you know there is sometimes another path that we have to take that we haven't yet seen and sometimes a blockage is not a blockage but a redirection i'm just saying so uh let's go because sometimes we do face things that do not come the way we want them to come you know just off randomly but it seems to me like you you're doing very well so let's have a look what comes up here the page of emotions has got to do with romance or love or your feelings you got it's in the reverse position this has got to do with the beginning of something what is the problem with this hang the hang muse which is in the reverse position which tells me uh if this is the beginning of a relationship let me see if it's let me just get some more cards out here then i'll tell you now there we go um there is a lot a lot of i know exactly what's going on here by the way um this is going to be a very specific reading for a specific person um not all of you guys are going to relate to this reading so i'm going to tell you that right now um if this is you then this was meant, meant for you to hear um you've got 10 of inspiration which is a 10 of wands energy you've got the hermit energy which is sitting in the desert quite alone you've got the 10 of wands as well which is in this deck it's called the 10 the 10 of inspiration there's a lot of stress that you've been carrying Yes, I can see that from the overcoming obstacles. Um, I feel like this honesty has got to do with a relationship. Uh, because of the page of emotions that has come out here. And then the hanged muse. Um, it's so funny that the way that this reading is coming up. I honestly feel like this is a situation where this is going to be very different. I'm going to tell you that right now. A lot of you guys are going to be like, no, no, not my reading. But let me tell you something. I feel like this is a situation where... Um, you met somebody or you were in love with somebody and I think you're still in love with this person and you guys are no longer in communication with each other and this has been very very hard on you for some of you guys you still are hoping that this connection and this relationship can get back together again okay now I'm going to go back. Sometimes I'll kind of like go off in the reading before I take cards out and I'll come up and I'll be like, okay, sometimes some obstacles are needed not to, cannot be moved. And it's because we, that's not an obstacle, but actually it's a blocked road. It's an impasse. It's not the way we were meant to be going. So I'm finding it interesting that I did say that and this is coming up. With the hermit energy being here, I feel like this is where you are now. Um, you're not in contact with this person. They're not with you. Um, this is not easy for you to handle at all. It's very heavy for you to carry. Um, I feel like you wish to be able to communicate with them. That's why I'm saying this for very few of you guys out there. Because a lot of people are like, no, I don't want to get back together with my ex. But for the one I'm reading for now, for whoever you are, this is for you guys. Um, you can't help where your heart is. You know what I mean? When you miss somebody and you're longing for them. Don't talk until it's you. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people go, oh, I will never be low like, oh, until it happens to you. And then there you are, pining away. You know what I mean? So let's have a look into, this is definitely, we're going to go deeper in here as well. But you are very happy with them. And you, with the hanged muse being there, again, it shows me that separation between you and this person with the hermit and the hanged muse being there, uh, the hanged man energy. Um, you would love to be able to reach out to them. You would love to be able to reach out to them. Um, I feel like because of the hand news being there as well, it's you also going, I don't know if I should do this. Now, let's have a look into the stepping into power. You are strong beyond measure. You've got a four of wands in the reverse position. Got a knight of, pen, knight of wands as well, a queen of wands, sorry, in the upright position. The empress in the reverse position. And you've got a queen of pentacles. Okay, wow. Um, there is some truths that is going to come up in this reading. Um, and I know, because Spirit Guide is basically telling me they, they may not want to hear this. They may not want to hear this. And I was just like, why do you have to make me the one to say this? But anyway, okay, it's fine. You know the old story about killing the messenger? I kind of feel like I'm that person. Um, the four of inspiration, and we've got a queen of inspiration. This is the four of wands energy, right? It's in the reverse position. And we've got a queen of inspiration, which is the queen of wands energy. Um, what I can tell you is like, this is yours, by the way. This is your energy. This is your person's energy. Two very separate 
vibes came up in this reading. Um, you, I'm going to start with you. I'm going to put that down there. You, on the first hand, you had Queen of Materials. You do have Queen of Materials in your energy, which is a the Queen of Pentacles energy, which is somebody that wants stability. They want to have a settled down world, especially with the Empress coming up next to this. Maybe you even got that place in your, in your world, you know, where you want to have a home, you want to settle down, you want to get married, you want to have children. If you have children, you feel like you just want to live your life with somebody and experience life with the person and you go out with them and you you know you're with this person and you just go through life together. That's the feeling that I'm getting from this cards here. The person that you, and it's in the reverse position, the queen, the, I mean the, the empress energy, that shows me that you couldn't really get that right. You couldn't really receive that. Um, I honestly feel like... Um, do not shoot the messenger. I feel like you may be slightly romanticizing the past that you had with them because you are overlooking what made you guys break up. Um, yes, you're missing this person. And I almost pick up this energy of like, you, uh, I'm going to say this in the right way, like you're overlooking all the things that went wrong. And the obstacle, you're overlooking the obstacle and you're not remembering that the cold heart facts of how they behaved and treated you. And um, you're hoping in some kind of way that the things that went wrong, if you guys had a second chance together, the things that went wrong would just disappear and everything will just be fine as long as you guys can just get back together. Just remember, the person that is not currently with you is carrying the Queen of Wands energy. And um, this is why you feel this way. Look how beautiful is that lady in that card. She is stunningly gorgeous. And uh, the thing is with the Queen of Wands energy, if, this, if we are talking about work, if we are talking about creativity, spirituality, boom, amazing. We are talking about relationships. The people who carry Queen of Wands, any of the Wands actually energies, um, coming up from the court cards, from the page, you know, the King, the Knight, all of those, the Queen as well. They are the most charming people. They, they know what to say. They know how to make you feel like you're, you're alive, like you're a man, like you're a woman. They're, they can be very sexy. I'm just saying, that's what I'm picking up from this energy. I'm very attractive, very seductive and when they speak this is the thing this is what i always pick up with the queen of wands and the king of wands the knight of wands all of them this is what makes them this charming when they look at you in your eyes and they say to you i love you and i want to be with you for the rest of my life you believe them because in that moment they 100 percent mean it they mean it from the bottom of their heart. They're going, I want to be with you and they want to be with you. I love you and they love you in that moment. But they are the Queen of Wands energy. And this energy is the people who sometimes carry severe commitment issues. Um, really some serious ones sometimes, sometimes not so bad. They love being single. They love being free. They love being... Um, forever young almost kind of energy that I'm picking up from here. It's like that I just want to be that young person forever. And this is where the problem comes in because this is their true personality. We've got so many different people on the planet. I'm like this and you like that and I'm like that. That's why there's enough for everyone. It's not like there's not enough for everyone. There's enough for everyone because not everybody wants, you know, a glowing Buddha in their house, but I do. You know what I'm saying? Somebody else wants some modern art or whatever. Everybody's different. And that's what makes us enough to, for enough for everyone. They're different as well. And they are not the type of person that wants to get into a four of ones energy. This is a day of celebration. This can mean a uh, wedding day and all those kinds of things. It's in the reverse position. They're not interested in getting married. They're not interested in settling down. They're interested in living their life to the fullest you know somehow sometimes i get this image this is what the images i get from the queen of wands i pick up people like surfer people you know like they live that life they got like their their van or whatever it is they have and they got their surfboard in the top and they're like literally travel around to different places and enter competitions and you get these other people again even though they may be working but you know they you find that they they off somewhere to some kind of like uh a concert you know in the jungle and they're just like 
vibing up there like hippies, you know what I mean, living in a tent somewhere for like two weeks. And you're like, where are you gone? And when they're there, they're 100% single. This is the energy that I'm picking up on from this person. Even if they are very, um, they're very, very strong with ever whatever work they're doing, and they could be very high up in their career as well. They live a very kind of like bachelor, bachelor lifestyle. So it's just remember that. Do not forget the person that is so charming. They confuse you because at that time they believe what they are saying, and at the same time, um, even you. Uh, believe what they are saying because it is true but you cannot take away what they are i'm just actually noticing something and it's something just came in my mind and i was like the, uh, you can't take away this leopard spots and literally i looked down at the card and there is a leopard <laughs> with spots sitting at the bottom of the card the leopard card can't change its spots guys it is what it is and if you are what you are you can't change your spots either just remember that. So let's have a look in here at the, the voyage of the heart. Um, let me tell you something. They are saying you're very strong. Um, you're a very strong person. And even this situation, this wanting to be with them, you are going to overcome this situation. But it may not be you that is be able to solve the situation with them. It might be you being able to realize that this, with this person, I'll never be able to be the empress, male or female energy. But um, see, in my readings, we come to hear the truth, guys. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm going to sugarcoat it. I mean, I have to say exactly what Spirit Guide is, is telling me. So um, the stepping into your power and you are strong beyond measure is literally, if you actually have a look at it, it looks like somebody walking away. It even reminds me of this hermit energy because of the lamp that they're holding as well. And it may be you having to come to an acceptance and this is going to be take a lot, of, a lot from you. That this person was never what you thought they were saying they were in the moment. Even though in that moment, those five minutes, oh, they were that person. That's what makes them so seductive. They are, then they don't, you know, you sometimes you can't even stay mad with them because they're that charming. And the thing is, also understand at a level of the spots that they have, you know, the leopard that's got those spots, they are totally that person. They are not something else. And then I don't think they're going to make it out to you as if um, they are someone else. They'll be pretty much straightforward as well. Um, that's really hard to deal with, especially when you fall in love with somebody like that and you guys are so different. So let us see here. Wow, there is a voyage of the heart that is going to start taking place. I feel like we're looking into the future here. It says love flows through you and to you. That literally means that when you want love, you have to give yourself that love first. If you want love to come to you, it has to be flowing through you first. And the only way you do that is to give the love back to yourself. So we've got some very interesting cards that are showing up here. And I'm curious to see what the next one is. The love that you want, the dream that you have about where you want your life to be, this is what needs you to make you need to be strong. This empress has a dream. She dreams about the, the life she wants to have. I mean, I, I sometimes feel like it's usually associated with home and relationship and children and all those like cats and dogs and all those kinds of things. Um, this is what is in the world card. This is what is in the world card. This does show me this is what you want. You want to have this relationship. Um, I'm finding this very, very interesting. So now I want to tell you something. You, first of all, they're asking you, please, the way that you love yourself is to realize what is not good for you. And sometimes the person that we want to have so badly is not the person that's going to be in this world because this is not their world. They have another world that they, they, they want to be in and they, they're in that world. And they can't believe their world to be in your world. It's almost like they don't breathe the same oxygen. So they would be unhappy here as well. In the long run, it would not work out. Especially if you've got a person with this kind of energy that I'm picking up on here. But there is something coming for you that you still do not see. And um, they are asking you, the stepping into your power and the need to be strong and the overcoming of anything is to actually see the reality of who this person is. Yes, you may have feelings for them and you may love them. They may have feelings for you and love you too. But they are not the person that fits into this world. That's why the Empress is in the reverse position. The world is literally inside of the Empress's card energy as well. It's in the reverse position here. 
and um, you are literally going to have the stability that you want. But I honestly feel like it's not with this person. I know you're going, I know when you want that person, it's just that person. And I think as time starts moving on, you're going to begin to see, because um, life will show you. It's not Deborah is going to tell you. Life will show you. Um, the nine of um, materials comes up here. And let me tell you something. This is the nine of pentacles. The nine of pentacles is the one card. These are actually, these, these cards here go very, very well with the empress, by the way. The empress, which is this card, let's do this, loves the queen of pentacles, loves to be stable. The Empress also loves the Nine of Pentacles because the Nine of Pentacles represents being supported by a loving partner and being in a very strong relationship, being in her world. Those three cards would make up the Empress's world. And Spirit Guides is literally laying out this reading in such a way to actually tell you what you did not get with this person. It doesn't mean that you're not going to have this. It's just that it's not with the person that you think it is. There's your Four of Cups. There's your Four of Cups energy. It is not with the person that you think it is. Um, you in this energy, you really have a good look at the card. Um, the, this is this energy of somebody sitting there kind of like really down and sad. And that's what I picked up in the reading. They are looking at the three cups that are here. And um, it's the memories of this person. It's the, it's you going, I miss them. I want to be with them. I remember the time we stared into each other's eyes. I trust me, I've had those moments. Okay, I've had those moments. And where's that person? I don't know. You know what I mean? But I'm living my life. I've got my world. I'm happy. You know, and I let it go. What are we going to do? The thing is, the Three of Cups energy. This is literally you thinking about this person. But you are not seeing something here. You're literally sitting inside a cup. <laughs> there is a cup totally surrounding you. And if you look at the cup as well, the cup is actually made up of two faces of two different people. So there is something that you don't yet see and don't yet believe. And don't believe that there is somebody else that can fill your heart. But there is. And this is, I'm telling you, it's coming at a very, very top speed into your world <laughs> it's moving very quickly and this relationship when you meet this person I feel like this person is going to be a memory to you it's going to be like what I, what I was telling you oh yeah there's those times when you look at a person and you're just like I want to be with them and then like two years later you're like nothing you see and I know this is very hard for you to hear for some of you guys you might be going okay Okay, there's definitely, I'm going to have what I want to have. It's just not with that person. There is somebody else. So I want to just go a little bit deeper into our cards here and have a look at, well, what Spirit Guide. Yeah, they're saying what had happened with them was not fair. It was an injustice. It wasn't right. It wasn't what was supposed to happen to you. The behavior that they also had towards you was not correct as well. What's this card? Um, you don't feel like you're strong enough. Unbelievable. You are. It says, yes, stepping into power, you are strong beyond measure and out comes the strength card for you. When it comes up in the reverse position, you feel like you can't. You feel like you cannot handle something. But unbeknownst to you, it doesn't matter what direction the strength card comes up in. It's just your thoughts going, I won't be able to handle that. But in fact, you are more than capable of handling it and you will. You will. Um, let's see what comes up for this. I'm so curious. You've got to be patient. Guys, this person is not yet in your world. You've got the hangman energy again. This shows me, this is the hangman energy associated with this person. It's like you dreaming about this person. Spirit guide just literally said you're picking up on the wrong energy and you're putting it to the wrong person. You're feeling it. <laughs> you're feeling this person. You're feeling the wrong person. The longing that you're having associated to this Queen of Wands, that's not the person you're feeling. You're feeling the incoming person. That's what you're feeling. Hmm. The longing that you have, the feeling of your heart contracting and that energy, it is not this person. You're feeling somebody that's coming towards you and you're misassociating the energy with somebody that you know. 
because you had a moment with them. No, you're feeling an incoming soulmate. This is not the person that you're feeling. You're feeling somebody that's coming towards you. My goodness me. They're asking you just to hang on a little bit longer because you will see the truth. You will see the truth. Wow, guys. I just got goosebumps like all over me, like just got goosebumps. Whoa, you're feeling, you're feeling somebody and I think they will be feeling you as well. This person's all around you already. They're so close. You're so close to meeting them. Wow. Let's see what else comes up here. You've got to put down your walls, guys. You, you are carrying the wounded warrior. You're about to meet this person. It's very quick. <gasps> My goodness. I've never had a reading like this before. It's the first time I've, I've felt that kind of energy. You've got to put down your walls. Open it up. Open up your world. Don't just be fixated on this one person. Open up. Open up to allow this other person to come in. That's who you're feeling. The longing that you're feeling, it's not the longing for this person. It's the longing for somebody you've never met. Because, yeah, it's the two of cups, guys. <sighs> Do not make me cry in your reading. I will not cry in this reading. I always tell you guys, don't make me cry in the readings. There is a soulmate coming in. You have not met them yet. That's why it's in the reverse position. But you can feel them. You need to redirect your energy. Wow. You're being redirected. And I knew when I saw that, I was like, this is extremely fast. With the chariot and the eight of wands being there, my goodness. This person is entering your life like, you know, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. You're going to meet this person very, very soon. And it's almost like it changes everything. It might make you even insecure to accept them because you're still kind of feeling like it's this person. No, it's not this person. It's them. The feeling, the love that you're feeling, the feeling of the overpowering need to be with somebody that you think it's this one. No, it's the one that's coming. And you will know, you will, I know, I know, I doubt you'll be able to resist something like this. This is too much. It's too strong. You won't be able to resist this. You are literally going to just fall into it. And I think that is exactly what's going to happen. Wow. Cancer did not expect this going into your reading, but wow. I am so curious to see. I'm going to allow spirit guides in the extended reading. Maybe you guys will win this, uh, but following week's extended reading, let's see. Um, uh, you know, uh, what is unfolding here? Who is this person? How will you maybe know when you meet them as well? And also maybe some more in-depth look into what happened in the past year as well. But there we go, guys. Thank you so much for clicking onto the reading. I'm wishing you all the best moving forward. Trust the heart's calling, guys. That's what you have right now. Your heart has got a calling and you need to answer that call by opening up so that this person can enter your world. It will be what it is you've always wanted. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.